Welcome, my name is Janelle and today I'd like to introduce you to a free collaboration tool called Marqued, M-A-R-Q-U-E-E-D, and it can be found at Marqued.com. According to the website, Marqued allows users to mark up and discuss images online. Essentially, Marqued.com has taken social networking, online collaboration, and image editing and combined it into one site. So to get us started, I'd like to share with you the short introductory video that's provided by the actual site. So I'm going to www.marqueed.com and here's the home page. I'm going to scroll down and play this short introductory video for you. Images are a huge part of our daily lives. We collect, share, and discuss them with others daily. Whether you're planning a wedding with family members, critiquing your artwork with fellow students, or working with colleagues on the redesign of a website, communicating your ideas visually can be challenging. Meeting a person is not always possible and can be costly and time consuming. Recording and following up on feedback can be frustrating and leave room for miscommunication. Sending multiple emails with attachments can get overwhelming and make it difficult to stay organized. Marquee introduces a better way to collaborate on visual projects. Here's how it works. Grab images from any website using the Marquee bookmark link. Or by dragging them from the site straight into the Marquee window. You can also drag and drop images from your computer. Invite others to collaborate with, and they can add their own images. Let the discussion begin. Point to specific parts of the visuals or draw out your ideas. Have a threaded conversation about what's working or needs to be changed. Marqueed organizes all your inspiration, designs, or research. Enables you to discuss them with others and express yourself clearly so you can make decisions quicker. It's secure, free, and available online all the time. Collaborating on all your visual projects is a breeze. Marqueed, speak visually. Okay, so hopefully that got some of your creative juices flowing and perhaps your mind considering how you can use Marquee. So now I'm going to show you some of the very basics of how to use the site. Please keep in mind I've not mastered using Marquee and this is meant primarily to give you an overview and a taste of how the site works and if you think it's something you and your friends or students could ben benefit from. So. If you do want to do that, if you think it's something you can use, you'll want to take the time to learn more fully how to use the site. So let's X out of this video. And you can see at the very top, it uh, this bar at the top tells you to sign up. It's free. And I'll just click on that to show you what it looks like. You can use your Facebook or your uh, Google credentials to log on, or you can simply insert your first and last name, your email address, password, and sign up for the free account so it's it's very easy since I already have an account I'm going to log in using my email address and password and log in okay so for the free account users are limited to just two collections and 250 megabytes fortunately that's all we need for this video also I have just FYI I've accessed Marqueed using three different web browsers Internet Explorer Firefox and Google and Marqueed seems to play best with Google and not so much with Firefox and Internet Explorer those two web browsers um, it seems when you try to upload images the system just spins and spins and it takes a long time to upload images so for me personally the uh, Google web browser seems to work best so just looking at uh, what you see up on the top it shows that I have my two collections already uploaded that I have two of them they're private I personally appreciate this this means that only users that I invite to collaborate with will see my collections and so if you go public 
I can only assume that means anyone using Marquee can view your image collection. So there is your, your uh, initial login will look a little bit different, but there is a way to mark that public, but it automatically defaults to private. <clears throat> Then there is an area for creating groups and, um, and a place to create a collection. And I'm going to start with the collections. So cre to create a collection, again, I already have two uploaded here. So I'm limited in creating a new collection. But if I wanted to and I had paid for it, I would just name it uh, whatever name I wanted to call that collection and hit create and then I'd be able to upload images. So I want to show you this collection called Bread Mold and I'll show you uh, how to upload uh, images to this collection here. Just a couple of other things. I can move these collections around. You can't hardly see this, but this says reorder. So if I wanted to move this one over here, I can, and it just moves them, the different collections around. So again, I'm assuming the upgraded version would have a, a quite a few more features, but for the free version, this is what I'm going to share with you today. So I'm going to click on uh, this bread mold collection, and it shows three different images that I pulled up of bread and mold in different stages. And what you're seeing here on the right is almost a, it is a historical representation of what I've done to the site. And let's say I wanted to, and I've done some editing on these sites, and you can tell that by these images here that says Add Labels. I do have a label on here. I played with this one and deleted a label. So what is a label? So let me show you what one would look like if I'm ready to collaborate. And I haven't even set up my collaborators yet, but I'll show you that in a minute. So say I want to share this image. I've uploaded it, and I want to get some feedback. Or maybe I just want to show students um, that this is a fresh piece of bread and it has no mold. So you'll see, I don't know if you can tell, but my cursor here is ready for a text box. So I'm going to place one right here in the middle of this bread, taking up the whole space. And right here is a place for me to add a comment. So I'm going to insert day one fresh slice of bread. And I'm going to hit submit. So you might think, well, where's that label? Well, it's it's here and it's listed as one. So it doesn't distort the image, but the actual label is there. And I can delete that if I want to go back. And so this is where the collaboration begins. I can I can uh, keep this label on there and invite other people to comment or to maybe perhaps not comment um, but just see that this is the first stage. So if I want to go to one of the other three images I'll show you one that I already did create a label. Uh, this bread is is severely molding and if I uh, hover over it'll say uh, click disk to view and I had already placed a label on this one saying what are these hair like things so again I'm starting to invite some collaboration and I can delete that comment I actually didn't mean to do that so then I can go to one of the other images this one here and um, perhaps I want to display this as and of course I just took these images uh, from the web so I have no idea but if I was uh, having students upload their own images they they would maybe have to show a series of days um, and the progression of the mold etc so maybe I would put day four or I have no idea day five mold is starting to grow so then I might submit that and maybe I would add another comment or label I'm sorry and I might put it up here and I might say, so this will show number two. So my comment may be, um, 
if this is what's happening on the surface, what is happening below? Question mark and submit. Now, something I haven't covered yet is this email notify. If I have that turned on, that means that everyone who I've collaborated with will get an email notifying that I have placed a label on an image. So for your students, and, and if it were my preference, I probably would turn that off and submit this knowing that the students were going to be checking the site regularly and they could go in and see the different labels and make their comments. So you can, hopefully you can kind of see how this is a, a really interesting tool and a viable tool um, for collaboration. So this is another tool that uh, I don't think was on our list to review, um, but I thought I'd share it with you. So something else I want to share with you, I'm going to X out of this. Um, this historical picture is, is now here and it doesn't uh, upload immediately. So I've noticed that as I've gone out of the site and gone back in, it will show an update and it will show as recent as a minute ago or three minutes ago, et cetera, et cetera. So again, uh, this will require a little bit uh, of uh, learning on your part if you really want to dive into this a little bit deeper. One other thing I do want to share with you is that uh, collaboration piece and, and adding different individuals to view um, the different um, collections you may have. So I can add people specifically to bread mold or I can um, add people to my groups that I've already created. So let me get out of this and let me go home and I'll show with you that I do have a small group already set up and I call them my BFFs and I can click to edit that and um, add people, uh, remove people from that list. So it says manage people, add a custom logo, delete group, Something else I'll share with you is as the owner, I've set up a, a very short profile and you'll see I have an orange chrysanthemum as the image for me personally. So, and I, I, you can do that up here as well. Um, this shows that I have two people collaborating on this site. Here's another way of add more people to my BFFs group. So again, this is really meant to be an overview, um, not so much a tutorial, but to give you some idea of another collaboration tool. So last but not least, how can you use this um, as a collaboration technique? I'm thinking in terms of, and hopefully you've already started thinking on your own, I'm thinking a photography class. If you want to show a photograph and get input on the different lighting or uh, the different uh, speed for capturing the image, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or maybe art projects, maybe uh, sculpture, and getting input on on you know what to do next. Um, and students can provide feedback, ideas for improvement. Um, as I demonstrated, you can use it for documenting science experiments. Um, you know, I think for me, working in the healthcare profession and in a hospital, um, I think of the different anomalies that clinicians encounter, whether it be a complex bone fracture, an open wound that's not healing appropriately, an organ inside the human body that's structured or growing unusually or in an unexpected way, and how clinicians can collaborate and diagnose conditions or simply educate others on the different cases they encounter. Um, while Marquis, quite frankly, would not be a viable tool for healthcare workers because of HIPAA and other privacy regulations, it certainly um, can give you an idea of how Marquis can be used in a similar fashion. So um, there you have it. Um, I hope this was helpful and has provided you with a new tool to consider as you go about bringing increased collaboration into your education and training. Thank you so much.